So congratulations to Nipsey Hussle. Uh, neighborhood Nip. Got a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. We are happy for him for that, right? But I got to get on my bull-ish. I got to get on my conspiracy theory uh, nonsense, you know? And before I do that, let me uh, protect all of us and myself by saying the copyright disclaimer under the section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is permitted by the copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips that balance in favor of fair use. Boom! Now, I didn't expect to take it there tonight but something just said bye and just hit me on the head and said choke go ahead and let it go so this was a there was a chain of events that happened that lead me back to the conspiracy theory that there, there has been several conspiracy theories out here in regards to Nipsey death. There's the ones that people started with the big U situation, you know, then it's the whole snitch snitching situation. And again, there's the other option that I believe that, um, It was more about the property than snitching. Like if you saw the movie uh, Barbershop, I'll use that as uh, as an um, uh, an example. If you saw the movie Bar Barbershop, in a nutshell, I don't know if it's Barbershop one or two, because I've seen uh, two of them. It might have been one. Right, the original storyline was that they had this barbershop, I think, and uh, the city wanted to buy it because they wanted to build these complexes or whatever, whatever, and they didn't want to sell it. They tried, I don't know if it's a uh, uh, barbershop or something else. They tried to burn them out or whatever, try to get the, excuse me, try to get them to sell, and they went and they didn't want to sell. Cause they was trying to regenerate the, the neighborhood. So when I see the chain of events that just took place, right? Now I know it's, it's Nipsey's birthday, right? So that that's part of them trying to do things around his birthday. Now, even though this dude, uh, Eric Holder has been, convicted and found guilty uh i mean found guilty and convicted um and he hasn't been sentenced yet i i still feel like uh this thing was bigger than him being mad over some snitching conversation right i still believe in, in, in my head that this was about property, land, right? And I'm gonna show you why. Now, I'm not saying Nipsey don't deserve a star no walk of fame. You know what I'm saying? As I told y'all before, that's some shit you could buy. You know what I'm saying? Those, those stars, you, you pay for that, those, those stars. But you have to get somebody on the committee to even nominate you or agree to it. You get to be voted on, and then you pay for it, whatever. So I'm not saying Nipsey's not worthy of it. Um, had he been alive, I don't think he would be trying to get no star at this point in his career because it would still be early. 
Um, on top of him getting the star, they named uh, a stop for the new um, L.A. Metro that goes from the airport through Crenshaw, right? Now, Nipsey's a lot. The property is built right at on the train station. He would have got so much money off of just tourism alone being in that spot. Right? So, oh, the Nipsey Towers is what the, this thing is going to be called, right? So let me let me show you what they what they gave him. Okay, y'all, uh, check this out. And I I will explain once this is this video is over. We just I, I might play it a few times to break things down, but check this out. I uh, can't stand here and not be reminded uh, that we stand in the center of what is now named Nipsey Hussle Square. We stand here at the southern entrance to what will be called Destination Crenshaw. This will be the first stop in the city of Los Angeles proper when you get on the train in LAX ride through Inglewood, go underground at Hyde Park, and come back up in Nipsey Hustle Square at the Hyde Park station. Just behind the gas station, Nipsey Hustle opened the Marathon store several years before construction started. Y'all heard that? That new, that train station that go from LAX, you know how many of us are happy as hell that they got a train that go from the airport to 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 Crenshaw and to and and where you could just go there and then catch an Uber or, or something from there to go to Hollywood. Like, do you understand that is like a fucking dream? Do you I, you like you don't need a car now? If you go to LAX, you don't have to necessarily rent a car now. You can now take a train. And the first stop is right behind the gas station where Nipsey goddamn Marathon store was, his lot was. That nigga Nipsey struck oil. He put his store on the oil mine. Now look, pay attention. Listen to what he's saying. 
And then think about why Nipsey's dead. Allegedly. Look at how they naming it all at all around him. Now they're giving him a star, Hollywood star. They naming it. They got like, like now it's like a tourist fight. He died for it. And they probably allegedly probably killed him for the goddamn land. Pay attention. And when construction of the train started, he was like, hey, what's happening here? What's going on? And after he caught the vision and he understood what the train would mean to this community and his neighborhood and businesses like his, he got very involved in making sure that this train worked on behalf of our people and helped us express and live out our possibilities and our hopes and our dreams as opposed to running through a neighborhood and transforming the neighborhood into something that was unrecognizable and so y'all heard that bullshit when they started the construction nipsey said hey what's going on here yo what y'all doing and then he got involved with them to make sure. Yeah, right. Let's let, yo check this out, y'all. Yo, can you imagine having your store? And they building a train in the first stop that come to from the airport for all the tourists coming to the airport. The first stop they could get off and go to the marathon store. Do you know what kind of tourist spot that is? Because if he was alive, they would not be calling in no motherfucking Nipsey Hustle Square. Bullshit. I'm telling y'all, this shit stink to high heaven. I'm telling y'all. Let me go back to the top. I uh, can't stand here and not be reminded uh, that we stand in the center of what is now named Nipsey Hussle Square. We stand here at the southern entrance to what will be called Destination Crenshaw. This will be the first stop in the city of Los Angeles proper when you get on the train in LAX, ride through Inglewood, go underground at Hyde Park, and come back up in Nipsey Hustle Square at the Hyde Park Station. Just behind the gas station, Nipsey Hustle opened the Marathon Store several years before construction started. And when construction of the train started, he was like, hey, what's happening here? What's going on? And after he caught the vision and he understood what the train would mean to this community and his neighborhood and businesses like his, he got very involved in making sure that this train worked on behalf of our people and helped us express and live out our possibilities and our hopes and our dreams, as opposed to running through a neighborhood and transforming the neighborhood into something that was unrecognizable. And so when you crest up here at the Hyde Park Station, thanks to Metro, uh, all of the leadership there, but especially our current CEO, You'll see a tower, a Crenshaw Tower. There will be a visitor center where we now have the fire station 
And from Slauson all the way to Vernon, you will see world-class pieces of art celebrating the history and the legacy of African-American people. And everybody who comes to LA and rides the train out of the airport is going to see it. Is that all right? All right. The fire station. And from Slauson all the way to Crenshaw Tower, there will be, you'll see a tower, a Crenshaw Tower. There will be a visitor center where we now have the fire station CEO. You'll see a tower, a Crenshaw Tower. There will be a visitor center where we now have the fire station. And from Slauson all the way to Vernon, you will see CEO. You'll see a tower, a Crenshaw Tower. There will be a visitor center where we, we now, now have the, the fire station. station. And from The Crenshaw Tower is going to be where the Marathon store was. I don't remember that. How many of y'all remember me talking to... Uh... Oh, Nipsey's partner on that property. What's his name again? David... Gross, thank you. Dave Gross, David Gross. Yeah, y'all don't remember me talking to him? Him calling me and reaching out to me? Because he felt like my truth was going to get him in danger? And we talked about Nipsey name being on that property, on the ownership of that that lot. I'm willing to bet they sold that shit. Now that Nipsey dead, because that's where the Crenshaw Tower supposed to go, right where the Marathon stores. Because they knew they was building that that train. And they want that shit to come right there and they have the Crenshaw Tower where they probably going to put students or something. But you're going to be able to take the train right there, boom. And they building a, a big ass joint called the Crenshaw Tower right on top of the, where the Marathon store was. So you tell me, allegedly it's not a possibility that Nipsey ain't get killed for that fucking lot because they, they building that train. He didn't want to... Give up that prime location? Think about this, y'all. If Nipsey was alive, would they be calling that shit Nipsey Hustle Square? Think about it. They try to put a black man up here. Think about this, man. Listen to li listen to after what I just said. Thanks for the donation. Him saying that Nip didn't want it to look unrecognizable. It's him low key saying that Nip was anti gentrification. Uh, yeah. Shout out to the other person that gave me a donation too. You know who you are. I can't find it. Oh, there we go. Just want to say hey, show some support for Philly. 35 P Kim. Thank you very much. Appreciate you, love. Let's look at this again. I uh, can't stand here 
and not be reminded uh, that we stand in the center of what is now named Nipsey Hussle Square. We stand here at the southern entrance to what will be called Destination Crenshaw. This will be the first stop in the city of Los Angeles proper when you get on the train in LAX, ride through Inglewood, go underground at Hyde Park, and come back up in Nipsey Hustle Square at the Hyde Park station. Just behind the gas station, Nipsey Hustle opened the Marathon store several years before construction started. And when construction of the train started, he was like, hey, what's happening here? What's going on? And after he caught the vision and he understood what the train would mean to this community and his neighborhood and businesses like his, he got very involved in making sure that this train worked on behalf of our people and helped us express and live out our possibilities and our hopes and our dreams as opposed to running through a neighborhood and transforming the neighborhood into something that was unrecognizable. And so when you crest up here at the Hyde Park Station, thanks to Metro, uh, all of the leadership there, but especially our current CEO, you'll see a tower, a Crenshaw Tower. There will be a visitor center where we now have the fire station. And from Slauson all the way to Vernon, you will see world-class pieces of art celebrating the history and the legacy of African-American people. And everybody who comes to LA and rides the train out of the airport is going to see it. Is that all right? All right. On inflation, Raphael Warnock is not working out. He Nippy nips. An official dedication today. An official dedication today for the new Hyde Park K-Line Metro Station. It's in the Crenshaw District at Nippy, Nipsey Hustle Square. The area was named in honor of the late rapper and activist who was shot and killed in 2019. The new Metro Station is one of eight stops along some of the oldest communities in Los Angeles. And from Slauson all the way to Vernon, you will see world-class pieces of art celebrating the history and the legacy of African-American people. And everybody who comes to L.A. and rides the train out of the airport is going to see it. Is that all right? I think it is. Metro is also planning to celebrate the openings of the remaining four new stations along the K-Line, which include Westchester and Inglewood. Now, yeah, check. This is going to give you the perfect view of how Nipsey struck gold by having that lot. 
Look, look, I'm this is gonna give you the perfect, perfect view of what he invested in and potentially allegedly what he died for. They're making it too obvious, naming the shit after him. The Crenshaw Project starts at Exposition and Crenshaw Boulevard, and it ends at the Green Line and Aviation Boulevard. Crenshaw Line is unique because on this particular one, we've got at grade stations, we've got underground stations. We've got track work that goes down the middle of the street, and we've got track work that still tells. Because we have so many types of construction, it requires so many types of specialties. The construction managers all have to have different types of training and coordinating that to make sure we have the right resources at the project at the right time based on what's going on. That's a complexity for us and something that we have to manage. We utilize the tunnel boring method on the project, and we also utilize the cut and cover method for constructing two other tunnels and for constructing our underground stations. We also have built half a dozen bridges on the project where we're separating our train traffic from the vehicular traffic. The most impressive of our bridges is the one spanning the 405 freeway. It spans the entire 405 freeway, both the northbound and the southbound traffic, and that's unusual. Well, right now in the tunnel, we're finishing up the three underground stations. The rooms are where we're going to have all of the power that comes in to operate the system, all the train control rooms that operate it, all the emergency fans. So all those rooms are getting built right now. We're now at the platform level of the station. And this is where all of our patients will be boarding on off of the train. So to my right is what will be the northbound track. And on the far left is what will be the southbound track. What I'm gonna show you is what's called a thermite well. It's how we weld the two pieces of rail together. They've got a mold that they do a preheat on. They heat the rail up. And set everything on fire and melt the mold into the rail. Hold on, y'all. That's not. I want to show y'all.
I can't find this video that it shows you like the area and when when you arrive and you get in and you see where like the marathon store was and how they they uh projecting and built like how it would look it was like yo if whoever owned that lot was stinking rich like whoever was gonna own that lot was gonna be stinking rich wait is this it All right, forget it. I'm done with the floor. Oh, it is the one. Okay. All right, I got it now, y'all. It's all being used under fair use. <laughs> station is here is right there. Right? Now, right here, y'all, where would the marathon store be at? Anybody got the, because this is the Hyde Park station right here. Which direction would the marathon store be? On the right-hand side? Or is it over here on the left? Is this it right here? Or 
Or did he pass it already? This would be this, this would be it right here, right? On the left right here where this slot is, ain't this, this, like this reconstruction shit, this would be it right here, right? Am I right? It's on the left, right? Now think about this. If he got the train station, the stop and stop right there in the middle, if that's the, the cringe, if that's the lot right there on the left, yo, do you understand what kind of money that is? Right? <laughs> like right there? And, and he got the burger spot and all that other shit right there. Isn't that it right there on the left hand side? That is prime location right there. Look at that. Brand new train right there. He got this whole fucking lot on your left-hand side. And that shit going to be a fucking big-ass apartment building. They're going to build an apartment building right there at the train stop. <laughs> I don't think it's no goddamn coincidence that this group, this man got killed 
and they sat there and opened up a train station on his stop, saying that it's going to be the first stop from the airport. And he get to miss out on that. Now, I don't know if the city was trying to get that space from him. I just find it very weird or or coincidental, I'll say, that they call it Nipsey Hussle Square. And he had that lot, and they can to build the Crenshaw Towers. Like, can you imagine? <sighs> That's like you buying a, 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 a lot in Times Square in New York. In the in the in the uh or on 34th Street before they built Amtrak. And you got this space and and you got the Madison Square Garden space. And they want to build this train, Amtrak, to, to bring all the cities from all over the world, boom, convenient, boom, right there in New York. And you got the goddamn space. Yeah, you tell them you ain't selling it. Or you ain't moving. Or you ain't taking their offers. I don't think that's no coincidence, man. I don't think it's no coincidence. Like they gave him his whole train stop, a whole square, the Nipsey Square. Had they done that, he not died. I don't even think Snoop got a street in LA. Oh no. But let's get to the uh 